Okay, we are going to replace the Corsair H70 CPU cooler with the Noctua NH-D14. I have my PC right here, and I'm going to remove this side piece here, and we're going to get started here. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the the contact point for the, the liquid cooling and uh, it's right on the, the processor down here. So I'm just going to take my screwdriver, which is actually the screwdriver that came with the Noctua, and I'm going to loosen up the screws here. Try and get them somewhat evenly removed here. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove the back plate on this as well. So I'm going to have to remove the back panel too. But um, right now, I'm just worried about getting this off of here. And we're going to have to clean the CPU off to get the thermal paste off of there. I'm going to remove the actual radiator from the back here, so I'm going to unscrew the screws. There are four screws back here on the back panel, so I'm going to do that right now. Alright, this should come out now. And the only thing I have to do is unplug the fans here, which I probably should have done earlier, but not a big deal. There's two points where they're plugged in. One is the fan and one is the pump. There we go comes out fairly easily and pull this fan off there we go CPU cooler out and now I just have to pull the mount off of here and clean up the processor so the mount is here and I have one more piece to pull off of it here and then I can go onto the other side and pull the bracket off and put the original mounting bracket on there and then we can get started on putting the new cooler in here. There we go. That's the old bracket. Now before I do anything, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to clean the CPU off. There's thermal paste all over the CPU here. So I'm going to take a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol and I'm going to clean that off really nice so that I can put new thermal paste on there and put the new cooler on here. Okay, in order to do this I'm going to start off with a Q-tip. I'm just going to get off the excess thermal paste off of here. And I'm kind of just brushing it off there and as you can see at the end of the Q-tip that's the thermal paste right there. I'm just going to clean it off with this first. And then we'll get in with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get the remainder off of there. Now I got a little rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip here. Just dab off the extra and cleaning off the CPU here. Alright, there we go. Nice and clean. So the next thing we're going to do here is we are going to put the original bracket back on behind the, uh, the CPU. So let's 
close this up. For now, we're going to have to reopen this up, but we're just going to close it right now. And flip it over. So I'm just going to remove these two screws on this side here. So we can get to the back side of it. Now if you remember from my original video, this right here is the bracket we installed on here for the Corsair H70. We're going to pull that off. It does have double-sided tape on it, so we're going to have to pull, pull it off. It hopefully it's not going to be that difficult. And uh, then we're going to put the original bracket back on. And this is the original bracket here. Okay, so we're just going to put that there. And put in the new CPU cooler. All right. Okay, got it off and we're just going to try and peel off this uh, double-sided tape here without doing any damage to the motherboard. There we go, I think I got a good on that one. There we go. And let's get this other side off here. Okay, now this is the original plate that was on here. So I just want to match it up here. Now, from what I understand, this Noctua cooler doesn't use the original screws that came with this so it just uses some spacers and some screws here which is right here so we're going to have to actually stand this up hopefully it'll be able to be filmed pretty well we're going to have to stand the computer up and hold this bracket because it won't be attached. I gotta hold this bracket in and uh, then put for each of the four holes I have to put one of these spacers in, these little plastic spacers and screw into it one of the screws into this here. So it'll look like It'll look like this on the other side. This and then a spacer like that. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm holding the bracket on the back of the motherboard here. And what I have to do is I have to install these pieces. They have to go inward. So these bold, these, these curves have to curve inward. And like I said, I need the spacers on there. So let's see if I can get them to stay without holding them. No, I won't be able to do that. So um, let me pull this back bracket off. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to set this up and take a screw feed it through one of the ends here of this metal bracket and then put the spacer behind it and get it started on one of these and once I get the first one in it should be easy I don't have to hold everything and get everything else in place it should be pretty easy so I just be a lot easier if I had a third hand so let's see if I can hold this back here with my knee, be a contortionist here, and we're going to screw this in.
Okay, I got the first one started. And like I said, once I get that in, these others should be pretty easy. Okay, we have the mount mounted in. What we're going to do next is I'm going to put the back back on the, uh, the computer case here because we don't need that anymore. We don't need to access the back area. And then I'm going to flip it back down on the table again and we're going to actually install the cooler in this way. So I'll join you back up when I've done that. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove the center fan out of the cooler here. The reason for this is because you need to be able to attach the screws here. So it has these clips that attach it here. So you just pull this out, unclipped there, and do it on, this, on the other side here. Out and over. And this fan should lift out. Just got to get the cord out of it, out of the center here. There's the cord, and the fan should lift straight out. There we go. Now you could use this without the center fan, without this fan. You could use it passive, you could use it active, but I'm going to use both fans in this case here. All right, the next thing to do is put the thermal paste back on the CPU. Here is the Noctua thermal compound that uh, comes with the, with the uh, cooler and it's NTH1, supposedly it's very high quality. And what I'm going to do is put a little on there and then we use a business card to pretty much get it nice and evenly dispersed. So, I'm going to squeeze a little drop in the center here. and use his business card to kind of just smooth it out. Okay, we got the thermal paste nicely evenly distributed on the CPU there and what we're going to do is we're going to install the cooler. Now, on the bottom here you have a plastic cover. What you want to do is you want to remove that because that's the contact point with the CPU. Okay. Now we're going to place this down on here and line it up and then we're just going to screw it into place here. using the tool that they provided and dip it in there hopefully the screw will bite I think it is yeah the screws biting just gotta get it to do that on the other side Alright, what I'm probably going to have to do, I'm going to have to connect these fans to the uh, Y bracket here and then into the CPU fan port on the motherboard. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to plug this one, which is this fan, I'm going to plug that into this Y bracket here. And I'm going to plug the center fan into the other part and then I'm going to plug this Y bracket into the motherboard. Now it's a tight fit up here behind 
the uh, the cooler so hopefully I can get it in that's why I'm doing it right now before I have it totally secured in and let's see if I can squeeze it in there Alright, I got it plugged in, tight fit in there, and let's get this screw back on, and then we'll worry about all this cording here. Alright, nice and tight in there. Not too tight, but nice and firm. And there we go. The cooler is installed. The next thing I have to do is put the center fan back in and then lock everything up. I actually might put the rear fan on here. I'm not sure. Um, at this point, I might just leave it as is and uh, see how the cooling goes on it. I can always add a fan back here if I want or actually might be able to slip one up top if I wanted to too. Okay, now I have to put this center fan back in. So in order to do that, I'm just going to have to slip it back down here. And this should be pretty simple because it just has clips that clip in. So I'm going to slide this down. clip it in and that actually looks pretty good there clipped in there and everything should fit properly back in so that is the new cooler in there not as pretty as the other one but a little more effective and it's going to be a lot less noisy which will be a huge plus. Just make sure all the cords are out of the way and not going to hit any of the fan blades. And we're going to close this back up again. And everything's kind of a tight fit in there, but it fits. Like I said, it's not as pretty as the other, but I don't really care. Put the screws back on the side here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm putting the screws back on the side. There we go. Replace the cooler. Everything should be ready to go. And I'll fire this up. And that should do it for this video. So if you have any questions, just leave them down below. And I'll see you next time.